Police alert out of Ferguson, Missouri. Yeah, at least two people were shot as protests turned violent on the anniversary of Michael Brown's death. CBS's Don Champion is in Ferguson with the latest. Witness video shows the chaotic moments following a shooting in Ferguson overnight after a protest over the Michael Brown case. The interim Ferguson police chief was being interviewed about the protest when the shots were fired. People in the area could then be seen running for safety. Investigators say the shooting happened when a man opened fire on four officers. At least one St. Louis County officer returned fire hitting the gunman. Photos show the unmarked cars the officers were in were hit with bullets. We can't afford to have this kind of violence, not only on a night like this, but at any point in time. It is time for us to not seek justice, but demand justice. The shooting happened hours after hundreds had gathered to remember the life of Michael Brown, who was killed by a white police officer a year ago. Led by Brown's family, a moment of silence was held in his memory. A march to a nearby church then followed. Natasha Patton took her three children with her to the Day of Remembrance. It's hard for me because, you know, I have like two young sons and I don't want them to grow up in this kind of environment. Before the shooting Sunday night, crowds had gathered peacefully not far away from where Brown was killed. His family had called for all protests to remain peaceful. Don Champion, CBS News, Ferguson, Missouri.